Hello my gems, so today is going to be a very cool video. I am going to do a first impressions on the Primark makeup products that I showed you guys on my previous video. So if you guys love this makeup look, give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's go on to the review. guys probably recently seen my previous video where I showed you guys and like took you guys along with me to Primark. I was so shook that Primark carried so many makeup especially because some of them look like they were duped for the KKW, the Huda Beauty and even Kylie Cosmetics and it's kind of like very shady for Primark to do this especially because you know these brands are well known I'm hoping that this video turns out good and that the makeup products are amazing but i personally don't own these products myself like i don't own um the kkw or the kylie lipsticks now these products don't seem to be exactly dupes but the packaging and everything seem to be pretty similar to the packaging from these other brands by the way, I am wearing a shirt. Just so you guys know, I'm not naked in this video. Just an FYI. So I have my Primark back here that I went shopping to. So let's just see how much I spent on these makeup products. So I spent about $60 on Primark buying some products. And I pretty much bought everything except for my eyebrows because I couldn't find an eyebrow there that I really wanted to test out so I decided to just do my eyebrow before the video just so you guys know. I'm just going to put this on really quickly and then I'll be right back and I'm going to lay out all the products on my table and then I will show you individually how they apply and how they are. Don't mind my hair you guys. My hair is like pretty frizzy right now and it's not cooperating with me. What do you guys think about this headband? It's so nice and pretty. So love it. It's very like tropical like. So to start off the makeup, I am going to try the PS Primer. It's an oil free mattifying skin primer. It kind of reminds me of the Smashbox primer. If you guys see the packaging, it's kind of similar to it, but not completely the same. It's about 450. So right away, the packaging is really nice and sleek, but the primer itself is a clear clear liquid formula and from putting it on it feels almost like a gel type consistency and it smells just like the Smashbox primer it's not sticky at all it does feel like silicone to me so I tend to have pretty large pores on my nose and pretty much around my cheek so that's where I focus the primer but so far it's doing what it's supposed to do so then the other thing you guys that I found at Primark was this primer water now this you can use to prep your skin for application and you can also use this actually at the end of your makeup and just apply it just to keep it in place as well so I'm also going to use this primer water this is actually pretty similar to the Smashbox photo finish primer I have the a smaller version here but if you guys look together it's kind of similar but not identical it's pretty similar but I think the name of it primer water says it all so I don't know if my camera died on me it seemed like it did but I'm going in with the shade here this one's almost like a purpley shade and there is actually no names for these shades. I kind of wish there was because these are very, very pretty. But you guys see the intensity that this is giving me. It's looking really nice, very pretty. I really do like it. It's blending nicely as well. And there's not a lot of fallout either on my skin. So that's pretty good. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go in with one eye first and then the other eye I'll finish off camera so that way it's not so long. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Taper Blending Brush, the E40 brush, and just blend that and just diffuse the color a little bit more upwards. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. I kinda wanna make this look a little bit more smoky. So I'm gonna take this color over here. It's kinda like a purpley, purpley shade and we're gonna apply that at the outer corner of the eye and going back with that taper brush tapered brush from Sigma. I'm just going to diffuse that color. Seems that it's giving me a hard time blending that color. So I'm gonna try to go as hard as I could. I'm gonna go back to that pink shade here and also pick some of that and just blend those two together just so it looks a little bit more diffused. 
and it looks really nice i feel like it's it blended okay with that color not bad at all we're gonna do a cut crease of course i love doing cut crease unfortunately like this palette doesn't have a mirror so it's very hard to work with but i'm just using another mirror here So I'm gonna just go in with a flat brush and I'm taking the Sigma Concealer Brush F70. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna pick up that color right there. We're going to apply that. Ooh, you guys see that? OMG, that looks so, so pretty. That's definitely giving me like a metallic look and very, very wet-like look i feel i'm gonna try to put on the primer water on my brush just to see how intense this color applies you guys this is a really really pretty color i am shook now we're gonna go back to that purpley shade right there and i'm just going to kind of diffuse that color a little bit more at the corners I am impressed with this palette. I love that. And look at the fallout. There is not any fallout at all. So I am shook. So I'm just going to take a mascara and I'm just going to go in with the Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara. Well, I did see mascaras at Primark, but I forgot to actually pick up a mascara at Primark. So I'm just going to go in with this one. So for my eyes, I did pick up this 3D Femme False Eyelashes. And also has a glue included in this package. And this was for $3.50. Very nice and flirty. And I think these are my size. Let's just measure it. Okay, I'm going to cut it a little bit at the corner. The glue applicator comes with a little wand like this. So you can apply the glue right on the lashes. If this glue does not work well, I'm going to go in with my duo glue. This one's actually clear, so... That's a pretty good. Obviously, I've already applied my primer. I've already applied that Fix Water that I showed you guys earlier. And now we're gonna move on and just apply our foundation. So I picked up this foundation from PS Brand, and this one's called My Perfect Color. It's called the Perfect Finish Foundation. Now, I'm not sure if this is a dupe for any other foundations out there. I don't know if the product looks similar, but this one is in the shade Honey, and it was for $4. It says it's medium coverage, semi-matte finish with vitamin E. I don't like foundations that are in a tube. It just makes it very, very difficult to clean up and it just gets all over the place. So I have this one and this one is how it looks like. It's a little bit darker from my skin tone, I feel, but we'll just work with it. I'm going to take a foundation brush. I'm gonna take the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush F80. Oh my God, this is probably not my shade, yeah. Mm, actually, it might actually be my shade. It's once you start blending it, it seems like it's my shade. So there is like a scent to this that's very strong. So as far as coverage goes, it seems to give you a medium coverage. I still see my skin peeping through, which I like. I'm gonna bring it down my neck just to blend it together. For those of you who hate smells, I don't recommend this foundation because the scent is pretty strong. It's gonna go in with my duo glue. This one is the clear one, and you can find this at your drugstore as well. So we're just gonna let that dry, and now we're gonna move on. So I love that they also had a concealer there, and I'm gonna apply that all over my under eye. So I'm just gonna take a brush. This one is the Sigma Foundation Brush in F60. And I'm just going to move this concealer all over. So the coverage is there, you can tell, but it's not a full coverage concealer. Just so you guys know, it does feel very, very creamy. It does remind me of the NARS concealer, but it's definitely not full coverage. And even if you apply it with a second layer, it's not gonna give you that intense coverage that you want, but it's not bad. This the next product that I found at Primark is very similar to the KKW Highlight and Contour Kit. Online, it goes for about $45. Now, I don't personally own the KKW Contour Kit, but I've seen so many videos online of how it wears and how it applies. So I think I have an idea of how 
the product works. But this one I found at Primark for $9. Now this looks identical to the KKW Contour and Highlight Kit. You guys, even the color, the packaging, the applicator brush looks exactly the same. So we're gonna go in with the contour first. The Cream Contour Duo has also an applicator at the corners, at the ends, it comes with both. So it comes with a darker and a light shade as well. And you can see there is a little bit on each side as well, just like the KKW. You guys know that that was pretty much like one of the biggest issues with the kit that each end was really tiny and you can barely get enough product to even last you a whole month. And these actually are 0.07 ounces each on each side. And the applicator is very easy to come down and up and we'll see if it's actually flimsy if it actually breaks on me because that was one of the other issues that the KKW kit also had. We're just gonna apply that on the areas where I want to contour. Just like Kim Kardashian does her makeup, I definitely want to apply that on the bottom here and then with the other side we're gonna go in and do the nose. This one's just a little bit lighter. I think it's pretty awesome. It applied pretty easily, pretty creamy. And now I'm gonna go in with the applicator. So I'm gonna go in with this end and it feels really smooth, you guys, and very dense. So I am, don't know if it's gonna work well, but we'll see. Ooh, it's blending so easily. Really, really nice, which is good. I'm also gonna blend it on my neck because sometimes I have a double chin. And if you are trying to get rid of that double chin, I definitely recommend you bring your contour down to your neck. So that way, when you look forward, you have that snatched neck, you know? And I like the color, actually, giving me a good amount of color that I really like especially when it comes to contour. So I really do like this. Now I'm just gonna go in with the other end and use that to blend around my nose. It doesn't look patchy at all, at least that's what I think it is. It didn't dry out too fast, which was a good and a good plus. Now I'm gonna try the Cream Highlighter Duo, which also the KKW has. And this one is also nude, and it also has the end here and comes with a lighter and a darker shade for you to highlight. And I think I'm gonna go in with this shade. I think this shade probably is better for my skin tone. So we're gonna try that. We're just going to apply this in the areas where we wanna highlight, so right here, right on my forehead, also around this area. And I'm also going to try to even highlight under here, just to see what it does now I'm gonna go in with this applicator I'm gonna apply a little bit of that prime water that we used earlier and just to see if it blends the color in nicely so the applicator does work it seems to be blending the concealer good but as far as a brightening goes or highlighting I don't think it's doing anything honestly now going with the brow highlighter. This one only has a end over here. Has a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna apply that right on the top here. It's pretty nice, I feel. What do you guys think? I think that's looking pretty good. I think I do like it. Okay, so it's not bad. The actual kit is not a bad kit, but um, I do love the contour actually from this kit rather than the highlight. Actually, the concealer started to crease under my eye a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this translucent mattifying pressed powder and this one is from the PS brand and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eye. It's really, really white and pale. I'm just gonna put that under my eye and see if it mattifies anything. So I definitely mattified underneath my eye. My under eyes still look pretty dark. I feel like it didn't give me full coverage, the concealer and the highlight that I use from the kit. So I don't recommend that. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is this PS Gold Digger highlight. And I found this for $4 at Primark. This one, I believe it's similar to the Kali Cosmetics highlight kits. I'm not sure if it's true. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think so. But this is how this one looks like. Obviously it has the packaging on. Let me just take it off. It's a very gold 
shade. Hopefully it looks good on my skin tone. And we're gonna try this out with a fan brush. I'm gonna try it out with this Morphe R12 brush. I'm gonna apply that on the nose. Wow, this highlight does have a lot of pigment and it looks really, really nice. Wow. And there's not a lot of kickback either on this highlight. It's giving me that like glow to the gods type of look. I really love this. I'm gonna put it also on the Keep It Bow. I do see that the highlight actually looks a little bit more shimmery, but it's not bad. It's not a bad look. I do like it. It's kind of giving me that wet kind of highlighted look, which I like as well. The highlight actually looks good with my skin tone. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker on me, but it actually is not bad. Now I'm gonna just go in with a blush because I feel like my face is looking a little flat. I picked up this PS High Pigment Blush. This was for $3 at Primark. I guess this blush is called In The Pink and it's kind of like a rosy kind of color. Really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this brush here from Sigma called the Large Powder Brush. And I don't think this actually has a dupe for it, but it's really, really pretty. That is two, two and tens. Let me just diffuse that a little bit. Wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. But now that it's diffused, I think it's looking pretty good. I definitely feel like it's looking a little patchy. It might be the mixture of the contour stick, the blush. I think that's kind of making it a little patchy or it could just be the foundation itself. So we're just gonna move on. So when I was shopping around, I also looked at the lip section of Primark. I found this PS Lip Kit Matte Collection. This one is for $4.50 and I believe the name is called Honeymoon. It's more of a mauve type of lip. This reminds me of the Kylie Lip Kit that they sell on our website. And I don't know you guys, even the packaging itself looks very, very similar to it. And I'm pretty curious to find out whether this is actually a nice mauve. Obviously the ingredients and everything else are not the same. Sorry you guys, so my camera pretty much died. So I definitely have to go buy another battery because I keep having an issue with when I film. I don't have not enough time to record and my battery just completely dies. Now I'm using my other camera, so I hope that you guys don't mind the quality. So the other lip kit that I bought is in the color Riot and this one's more of a berry tone. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on my lips. Now I'm gonna go in with the matte liquid lipstick. And this is how the applicator looks like. So this is the berry color. I think it looks really nice with the eye look. I think it looks gorgeous. Now I'm just gonna go back with the palette and I'm going to do my under eye. I'm gonna take the color over here, which we went in earlier. It's like that pink color. And I'm just gonna bring it down underneath my eyes, tap it off. And I'm gonna go in with the this color over here at the corner. And I'm just gonna bring that at the outer V of my eye. I'm gonna take the Morphe 213 brush and I'm gonna take this color over here which we use for our eyelid. And I'm gonna bring that in the inner corner. So now I'm gonna apply the PS Primer Water. So we are pretty much done with this makeup look. I'm just gonna apply my earrings and I'm actually loving this lip color. It's so pretty and so gorgeous. I would have never thought to actually wear this type of lip color for the summer, but it's actually pretty nice. So my favorite products from this whole thing is the lip kit and the eyeshadow palette and the highlights. I think those three are my favorite products. I do like the contour part of 
the kit and the brush those are my favorite products as well um, but as far as everything I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this was pretty much something that you guys maybe could try the products are really really affordable they're not expensive at all and I'm so shook that these products are really good anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video but let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about all these products that i used on today's video i would love to know your thoughts anyways thank you so so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed your day and i'll see you guys on my next video